did an article on chemtrails a while back ago. They also call chemical trails, in case some some of you want to call that. They vapors left behind by planes and all that. They are spraying the air with all kind of chemicals. They do it to make it rain or snow and all that, depending on what the temperature is when it does it. They also do it for other reasons too. Big companies like Monosoto and other companies like that are involved in this kind of action and all that. I hope that the government don't have anything to do with it, so I don't know about that. I haven't found a smoking gun on them yet to actually find out. But I know other companies are actually doing this. And they're trying to outlaw it too and all that. But it's kind of hard to outlaw when they hide behind red tape and all that. And you can't figure out which one's doing what and all that. Theoretically, by law, I don't think they should be allowed to go out there and spray chemicals in the air like that anyway. I don't see why the law can't get, get them for doing things like that. Because most of these chemicals they're spraying in the air are very dangerous. And I bet that if you took some rainwater after it rained and you analyze that rainwater, you're going to find some of those chemicals in that water too. So, it's actually in the water when it rains and stuff. And then it gets into the, I mean, the earth, the soil and all that, and contaminate the soil. So there's a lot at stake on this one. And people need to wake up and smell the coffee before it's too late before our soils are contaminated with all kind of pollute, pollutions and stuff. But, I got, I got up this morning and I seen tons of these camp towels in the air and all that. I'm gonna show you what they look like. That way you can actually realize that they using them in your city and your state or your country too. They using them all over and all that. Different companies are spraying different chemicals in the air. And I got a website that lets you know what they spraying in the air too. It lists all the chemicals that are being sprayed up there. And you might be shocked to learn some of the chemicals. It also lists by state by state what they doing and all that. And the chemicals that they use. It's a pretty nice website. It has a lot of detail on it. And... You, you could look at it and all that, analyze the chemicals and all that, know what being sprayed in your area and all that, and basically know how to take it from there. But we really do need to, you know, step up our game and get this kind of action outlaw because it's not, it's not doing us any good because it's like it's polluting our soil, our rainwater is contaminated. Like I said, take some take some way while I run the test this for you, run the test for yourself. You will see what I'm talking about. That rainwater is gonna have those chemicals in it. And if you get the rainwater before it hits the ground, you know it's not contaminated. So you know what L in the rainwater is because of what those planes were spraying and all that. But anyway, I want you guys to see some of these chemical trials. That way you know what what to look for. So I'm gonna roll down my window and I'm gonna put my camera out and let you see some of them. They all over the place today though. You will see what I'm talking about here in a minute. I'm gonna get out and get the rest of them. I'm gonna get them from the driver's side. Might even get lucky enough to see one of these planes. As you can see, those are those are chemical trials. Those are the chemicals that they are spraying in our atmosphere. 
and they make a lot of people sick too. Something needs to be done about this. We need to step up our game and tell them like it is. You're not going to do this anymore. We need to get enough people together to let them know. It's like, hey, we're on to you. You're going to quit this and all that. But this is it for my video. Check out my link for my article I wrote on Kim 12 too below my video. Take care. Y'all have a nice day.